quality in HIV management has really been something that by and large for most practitioners uh, has been self-regulated. There has not been as much outside of managed care for sure any uh, feedback or any quality improvement mechanism in, in, a, in a large way. I do think that many managed care entities do, as part of their general practice, provide some metrics back to practitioners. Uh, but again, I think it's pretty variable depending upon the system, and larger systems may do a better job of this than smaller systems or vice versa. Um, I think we're, we have a benefit in HIV care in that we know what metrics to use. We have guidelines that tell us how we should be treating people, and they're very reasonable and mostly evidence-based. So it's not like we have to make it up or that there should be much variation or variability. We know what we're supposed to do. We know that people are supposed to be started on HIV medicine, certainly at certain CD4 counts, if not everyone. We know that people who have a T cell count that's below a certain level should be on antibiotics to prevent infections. We know about vaccines. We know about cancer screening. There's a bunch of stuff that we exactly know where the X is in the box and that we should be doing it. So it lends itself to quality imp improvement uh, measures.